Hi boys and girls, we're ready for another OG lesson today and we are going to start by reviewing. So we're going to add a suffix onto the end of these base words. Remember a suffix is a letter or letters at the end of the word that alters the meaning. So it changes what the word means. So let's look at this one syllable word right here. We have the word pick. Now remember, if we add our suffix y, and our y is acting like a vowel, it's a two-syllable word. And a two-syllable word, y says e, pick e. So remember that when we have two syllables and a one-syllable word, y says i, but now we're having two-syllable words because we have two vowel sounds, y says e, pick e. Let's try this one. So the base word, plent, plent, add our Y. It's acting as a vowel, so now we have two vowel sounds and a two syllable word. Y says E, plent, E, plenty. Let's look at this base word, trip. But if I want to add the suffix S, now we have more than one trips. We go on many trips. Or it could mean that someone did that action. He trips over his shoelace. It can mean a couple different things. Let's look at this space word. Yell. That's an action word. If we add our suffix s, it tells us that somebody is doing that action right now. Yells. He yells his name. Just like if we wanted this to be the actual word trips, he trips on his shoelace. Let's look at this base word. Remember the TCH says ch, itch. Ooh, but when a word ends in ch, sh, sx, or z, add e, s, and you'll please me. So now we have that action word itch. We're going to to do it right now. Itches. My arm itches right now. All right, now let's look at this base word. Oh, it ends in an S. Dress. One dress, but if we want it to mean many dresses, she has many dresses. Or it, we can use it as an action word. He dresses himself in the morning. Remember, when a word ends in CH, SH, SX, or Z, add ES and you'll please me. So that suffix comes at the end. Now, we're not gonna add anything onto this base word. Remember our DGE says J, lodge. There's our TCH again, clutch. That means to hold on to and slick. So let's go back and read these a little bit smoother. Here we go. Picky, plenty, trips, yells, itches, dresses, lodge, clutch, slick. Let's read these. If you had a great Christmas, Picky, plenty, trips, yells, itches, dresses, lodge, clutch, slick. Can we read these words again? Make it your strongest reading if you like the winter time with snow. Picky, plenty, trips, yells, itches, dresses, Lodge, clutch, slick. So let's talk about some of these words. Picky, that means like, I've heard people say you're a picky eater. You kind of don't like a lot of things. Plenty, that means you have a lot of something, plenty of something. And we talked about trips. That can mean like lots of trips or it can mean that someone trips over their shoestring falls down, it can be an action word. Yells is an action word. 
And when we add that suffix s on it, it means they're doing it right now. Itches. That means right now my arm itches. We put the suffix es onto our base word of itch. Dresses can be a noun or an action word. Can mean like a girl has lots of dresses or she dresses herself. Remember what a lodge is? It's like a hotel, a place to stay. Clutch, you hold on to something, you clutch it in your hand, slick. I think of winter time, icy. All right, you yell out the word. I'm thinking of a word and it means a lot of something. Plenty. I'm thinking of a word and it means a place to stay for safe. Lodge. I'm thinking of a word and it means to hold on to something. Clutch. I'm thinking of a word and it could mean the same as slippery. Slick. It's a synonym. I'm thinking of a word and it's a synonym to shout. Yells, right? I'm thinking of a word and it can mean to fall down. Trips, right? All right, this time you shout the word before I exit out. Here we go. Dresses. Slick. Plenty. Yells. Clutch. Picky, trips, itches, lodge, good. Now we're going to learn something new, go over something new. A new suffix, an ed, comes at the end of the word. Remember a suffix is a letter or letters at the end of the word, at the end that alters the meaning, changes it. So ed, when we add it on, it means it happened in the past. It already happened. And ed has three sounds. It can say ed, d, or t. We're going to practice it saying ed. And here's how we know it says ed. Our base word has to end in a t or a d. Whenever the base word ends in a t or d, that ed is going to say ed such as planted, sanded. Let's practice some more. Here we go, here's our base word. And if you need to, tap it out. L and land, and we add our suffix. And since it ends in a D, it's gonna say ed, landed. He landed on the moon a long time ago. It already happened. Let's do another one. And, hand, ed. So we know it says ed because our base word ended in D. Handed. He handed me the ball. That means he already did it. Maybe yesterday. Here's our base word. We need to tap it out. R -ent. Rent. That means you borrow something. Our base word ends in a T, so when we add our suffix ed, it says ed. Rented. I rented a movie last night. You already did it. It happened in the past. Well, here's our base word. It ends in a T. D -ent. Dent. Add our suffix ed. Dented. He dented my car yesterday. It already happened. Here's another one. Hunt. Hunt. Our base word ends in a T, so when we add our suffix at the end, it says ed. Hunted. He hunted for deer last week. He already did it. Here's another base word. It ends in a D. W end. Wind. Ed. Winded. He got winded during the race. Oh, that means he got out of air. That was hard to run. And it happened in the past. Our next one ends in a D. And Ed. Sand.
sanded. Sanded means you make some wood feel really smooth. So he did it yesterday. He sanded the board. See how all of our base words in a D end in a D or a T. So our ED says Ed. Let's do another one. Ooh, let's tap this one out. Blah. And. Ooh, five sounds. Blend. Add your suffix ED. Blended. He blended the milkshake yesterday. He already did it. End. Ed. Ended. The movie ended 10 minutes ago. It already happened. It happened in the past. See, our base word ended in, ended in a D. So when our base word ends in a D or T, our suffix ed says ed, and it means it happened in the past. Let's go back and read these together so we sound a little bit smoother. Landed, handed, rented, dented, hunted, winded, sanded, blended, ended. Can we read these again? If you like polar bears, landed, handed, rented, dented, hunted, winded, sanded, blended, ended. All right, good job. Now let's think. I'm thinking of a word. Remember, all of these mean it happened in the past, yesterday. And it means something has stopped. It stopped yesterday. It ended, right? I'm thinking of a word, and it means you're looking for something. Could be a wild animal, but it could be you're looking for your missing sock. Hunted. You hunted all over for it. I'm thinking of a word, and it means um, it pushed in. Something that got pushed in by accident. Now there could be like a, a hole dented. I'm thinking of a word, and it means you borrowed something in the past. Rented, right? All right, this time you shout out before I exit out. Handed, landed, blended, dented, winded, hunted, sanded, ended, rented. So we've learned a lot of suffixes. We've learned the S comes at the end of the word. It alters the meaning. It means right now or it means more than one. We learned the ES suffix that can mean more than one or happening right now. We learned about the Y and a one and a two syllable word, Y says E. And we've learned about the ED that says ed, d, or t. Three sounds, and we practiced the ed today, and it means in the past, it already happened. All right, let's get our paper out in front and put our name and date. We're going to review today is 1, 11, 21, 2021. All right, here's our first sound. Write me the lowercase letters that say mp. It comes at the end of a word. It's an ending blend. Mp, as in jump, right? Write me the lowercase letter that says e, as in the two-syllable word funny. And a two-syllable word y says e. Good. I'm, write me the lowercase letters that say fl. It's a beginning blend, an L blend. Fl. F L. Ooh, we have a suffix. It comes at the end of the word. 
and it says as, and it can mean more than one or happening right now. When a word ends in ch, sh, sx, or z, add yes, and you'll please me. Like in foxes or dishes, write me the lowercase letters that say nt. It's an ending blend, as in sent, nt, right? Write me the lowercase letters that say nd as in lend. Check and make sure you're making a D. And D says end at the end of the word. Write me the lowercase letters that say sh. As in ship. It's an SH. Write me the lowercase letter that says ah. It's a vowel. Just you. Come down with your stick. Well, we have another suffix that comes at the end of the word and it can mean more than one or happening now, like balls or not one cat, but many cats, just an S. Write me the lowercase letters that say J as in bridge. It's that D G E. Make sure you're making a D. Write me the lowercase letters that say ch, as in catch, or hatch. It's that T-C-H. At the end of a one-syllable word after one short vowel, ch is spelled T-C-H after a short vowel. Write me the lowercase letter that says I, as in spy. And a one-syllable word, Y, says I as in shy or my or try, so it's acting like an I. All right, let's go and review some more words. Remember, get that tapping hand out. Our first word, we're gonna do the base word first, the word by itself, wish, w, i, sh. Three sounds, but four letters. Now, wish is not a question word, so we do not start it with a wh. It's just a W. Ish. Now, what if I wanted to add a suffix and make this more than one? Wishes. When a word ends in CH, SH, SX, or Z, add yes, and you'll please me. Wishes. Many wishes. Our next word. Get your tapper hand out. Our base word is flip. Ready? Fl, ip. Four sounds, four letters. Fl, ip. Now, that's an action word, flip. What if I wanted to say someone's doing it right now? She flips over, flips. Add your suffix, s, flips. There we go, happening right now. Our next word, our base word is jump. Ready? J, jump. Um, we hear that ending blend, mp. J, four sounds. J, jump. Um, now, let's add our second syllable, jump e. Ooh, and a two syllable word, y says e. He's feeling jumpy. So now we have two vowel sounds, two syllable word. Our last one, the word is shy. Let's tap it, shy. Now I hear the I sound, but remember in a one syllable word, Y says I, shy. So we tap it out, shy, to hear all the sounds. But if we clap it out or snap it out, Shy. When you say the word, it's just one vowel sound. It's a one syllable word. Y says I. So let's look down at our diamond. Let's go back over that new suffix. Our ED, that means in the past. It already happened. ED says ed. When our base word ends in a D or T, 
our suffix ed says ed. So the suffix ed, the name, we say it says ed, it's spelled ed, ed. All right, let's flip our paper over and we're gonna work on adding our suffix ed to some words to mean it already happened. So we'll start with our base word. Get your tapper out. Our base word is rent. Ready? R -ent. Rent. Like you rent a movie, you borrow a movie. R -ent. I hear four sounds. Now our base word ends in a T and we're gonna make it happen in the past. Yesterday I rent ed a movie. Rented. So we add our suffix ed to mean it happened in the past. Printed. Our next word. Let's get our tap our hand out to tap the base word. Land. L and. Four sounds. Four letters. L and. Land. But what if we said yesterday he landed in the mud pile? Maybe he jumped in it and that's where he landed. Landed. Remember, our base word ends in a D, D or T. It happened in the past. ED means it happened in the past. Landed. Landed. Our next word, get your tapper hand out. The base word is hunt. Ready? Hunt. I hear four sounds. Let's write that first. Hunt. Hunt. Meaning you're looking for something. You lost your book. Hunt. Yesterday I lost my book. I hunted all over. We add our suffix ed. That means in the past. And it says ed because our base word ends in a t. Or D, hunted. Our last one, let's tap it, sand. S and, S and. I hear four sounds. S and, sand. Yesterday, he sanded the piece of wood. That means he made it smooth and he already did it in the past. And our suffix ed means in the past. Sanded. Our base word ends in a d. D or t, it says ed. Sanded. Let's go back and read these words together. Rented. Landed. Hunted. Sanded. All right. Well, we have a new memory word today. Let's look at it. M-A-K-E says make. It rhymes with the word cake. Make. So this is as some of you might know it. That's called a magic E. It makes the A say A. I will make a cake. So let's sky write first. Get your superpower arm, straight arm. Let's look at the letters. Here we go. M-A-K-E says make. Do it again. M A K E says make. M A K E says make. It's just a K. Our A says A, make. Let's say it as we write it. M A K E says make. 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 All right, let's look at it two more times. Ready? M, sky right with me. A K E says make. Can you try it with your eyes closed? M A K E says make. 
It's just a cake. Can you do it without looking? Can you do it on your own? Mm -hmm. So it's saying A because of that E hopping over, making it say A. Make. All right, do you remember an old memory word? Could be a question word, but not always. W-O-U-L-D says would, right? She would like to go outside. W-O-U-L-D, would rhymes with could. Now this kind of would is telling us that you would like to do something or it could be a question word. Would you like to go outside? All right. Do you remember this memory word? It means for a girl, H-E-R says her. Right. Let's write it. So we have make, would, and her. All right, let's get our cops ready. C for capital. Are we starting with the capital? O for the order. Getting the words in the right order, P for punctuation, S for spelling. So our punctuation could be a period for a telling sentence or a question mark for an asking sentence or an exclamation point for a sentence to show ex excitement, expression. All right, here is our sentence. The bug landed on the step. Let's count. The bug landed. That's one word on the step. Six words. We've got this. So let's start at the beginning with our uppercase for the word the. We've been writing this for a long time. Uppercase T. The bug. We've got this. Leave some space. Make sure you're making a B. The bug. Now, I hear the next word has a suffix. So let's do the base word first. The bug landed. Let's tap out land. L and four sounds. Let's spell the base word. L and it's got the word and inside of it. L and but he did it in the past. The bug already did it. So what's that suffix? E D in the past. Landed, the bug landed on, I'm running out of room, so I go to the next line, on the step. Do we need to tap it out? St, ep, four sounds. St, ep. The bug landed on the step. Now I'm telling you, the bug landed on the step. If I'm telling you it's a telling sentence, and a telling sentence gets just a period. The bug landed on the step. Six words. Started with your uppercase, we have a period. All right, good job today, boys and girls.